Jim, uh, Jim Sakala from Drum Preserve, and today we're going to demonstrate the uh, safety features of the Drum Preserve uh, nitrogen dispensing systems for drum fluids. This is a stainless steel unit uh, with shows a siphon tube and uh, the the brass valving on the uh, inlet. We got uh, nitrogen fittings here to control the nitrogen going into the drum to protect and dispense the fluid and a real high flow safety relief valve. And you can see on the bottom there's uh, uh, three separate orifices. There's a spare there that's just got a plug in it and then the, the nitrogen feed orifice and then the safety relief over pressure, uh, 10 psi pressure relief valve. Just keep in mind that uh, these drums have a hydrostatic test pressure. The 55 gallon drums are 36 psi. 30 gallon drums are uh, 44, 45 psi, and that means they're uh, guaranteed leak-free at that pressure and below. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate to, to show the the safety features that we have built in besides the pressure relief valve. Um, the, I'm going to show the uh, detail of the pressure relief valve. This is a standard um, 10 psi pressure relief valve. And this is the one that we use. You can see how much larger the orifice is to allow the nitrogen to escape in case somebody goofs and puts too much pressure in the drum. And here's the, the barbed fitting for the hose going into the drum. And you can see how much smaller that is than the nitrogen uh, high flow safety relief valve that we've got. The other feature that we've got for our, our nitrogen regulators that we have custom made um, this, this has got a low pressure, working pressure gauge that uh, maxes out at 15 psi and then 30 over in the red zone. And we also have these made with real light, high precision working pressure springs so that uh, it's impossible to adjust this so that it's uh, 200 psi like a standard nitrogen pressure regulator is. And I'm going to show how this works. These are three drums of isopentane that we use at Dynotech Research to repair um, race gas that's gone stale in storage. Isopentane is uh, what they call the front end or the light end component of the fuel. And a typical drum of uh, race gas comes from the blender with 10 to 20 gallons of isopentane in it. And when it gets stale, that isopentane has evaporated and we just replace what's gone to make sure that it's perfect for the engine. So I'm going to go back to this regulator and I'm going to adjust it to show you. Right now, this, this isopentane, we keep at 7 or 8 psi to prevent it from es uh, evaporating and escaping. So right now it's set at 7 psi. I'm going to turn this, I got the valve on, I'm going to turn it all the way in. So it'll start creeping up to see how precise that is. And it'll, it'll start creeping up on us. There we go. And I'm going to turn it. I'm going to act like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to turn this all the way in. There, it's tapped right out. This is a full cylinder of nitrogen, and it's tapped out at about oh, 17 psi. So, I, but since I've got the nitrogen valve shut off here, I'm going to turn that on to, to show how how effective the pressure relief valve is. This is a 15 psi gauge um, that's uh, plumbed into the top of the drum. I'm going to turn this on. Uh, again, we've got this maxed all the way out. I'm going to turn this on, and it'll you'll you'll hear the safety rele relief valve popping off and resetting itself. So I'm going to turn it on now. So that's the, the fail-safe system that we use for preventing any accidental overpressurizing of the, of the drums during storage. And I'll reset this first, the, se the 7 psi that we need for storing our isopentane so we don't lose any. 
and there we go. So we're, we're all set. So that, that's why we've been able to sell these things for the past uh, about 20 years and have never had a problem with leakage or overpressurization. So drum preserve, and you can go to our website and order the systems. You can order this separately, the regulator separately. And you can keep your drummed material, um, whether it's uh, gasoline, chemicals, um, maple syrup, or food products, or acids. It's a safe way to store it and uh, prevent it from going stale in storage.